It's an ancient sport. Thanks to the Hollywood blockbuster Hunger Games, there's a trend going on. This is Rob LaPrey teaching newbies how to use a bow and arrow. It's been phenomenal. More than two thirds of that is uh, brand new people. Gail Cottles just back from the World Indoor Archery Championships in Vegas. A lifetime archer, she's never seen so many people flocking to her sport. It will bring a lot of people in initially, yes. But will they stay? Jillian Oxner is one of the new people learning how to use a bow and arrow. I've always liked archery and, uh, and then I read the Hunger Games and I thought why not try it and do it more so then I googled it and here I am. At a Halifax Recreation Centre these young kids are loving it. Cesar Hansen looks about the same size as his bow. He's too young to know about Hunger Games but he knows another superhero he wants to be like. Your green arrow! Your old green arrow? In her lifetime of being in the sport, Glennis Ward Eversley marvels at the Hunger Games trend. We get more little girls wanting to do archery now. To do archer. I'm down a bit more there. She's given me a lesson, and after a few lessons, I feel like Katniss. <laughs> at a recent 3D archery competition, the line is filled with archers. Among them, Amy Brake. Before Hunger Games, the reaction about her archery was this. I get a lot of surprised looks. But since Hunger Games and Katniss's prowess with a bow and arrow. Does everyone want to be like Katniss now? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's amazing what, what Hollywood has for uh, impact. The power. Yeah, the power it has on people. They are packing them into archery clubs now. They hope this trend keeps growing. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Halifax.